Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings Today. Peter will be here. Peter will be there. Peter will be everywhere. And everybody's wondering what started like a huge joke, some sort of kids' child's play, has become something of reality. Like Abati would say, a uh, renowned journalist, he said um, that um, from all indication, uh, the opposition parties and parties, political parties, are fretting over the latest and the newest popularity of Peter Obi. That is so almost been sustained uh, all around social media handles by the Nigerian youth. Well, it looks like that's not going to be all as even politicians, political elites are now beginning to see the synergy and the energy emanating from the Nigerian youth. It has never been seen anywhere else in a very long time the only one that was so very similar uh we just hope that um from from what the politicians are hoping and praying for that it shouldn't get to that level of hashtag answers where the youth came in synergy in one voice to do the need for and they're now already begging the nigerian youth to please mellow down tempo down and do this uh, well, you're going to get reactions from Nigerian youth, honestly. It's like they have decided that it's going to be between them and, of course, the politically exposed. Uh, that's if, of course, um, the political exposed does not do what we call the divide and rule mechanism that usually works whenever this synergy comes to a particular level. Well, before we go into the newspaper to find out what Fashola is telling Nigerians over the candidature of uh, Peter Obi, the Labour Party, Liberal Party presidential candidates. If you like it, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, according to the news, this is coming in the wake of massive social media support for the Labour Party LP presidential candidate Peter O.B. Fashola shared his thoughts at the sixth edition of the annual BRF the Feast in Lagos, reacting to someone's comment who noted that Nigerians may vote out uh, out of anger in upcoming 2023 elections. The former governor urged electorate to set emotions aside and consider the track records of the presidential candidates. He said, and I quote him, I urge you. To vote by looking at what the candidates have done before. This is like asking for the referees during an interview or talking to a previous employer. This is how to recruit an employee, not by anger. Though Fashola tax Nigerians to organize public debate, he however told them not to expect all the candidates to attend. <laughs> I laugh in Swahili. Okay, but of course, Nigerians are wondering if you are telling us not to, that if they are not going to attend in full. So why are you telling telling us ahead that they will not attend? But of course, let's let's just quickly say so this is actually the major highlight of what he said. But let's look at what Nigerians are saying in summary. He said that Nigerians should, uh, you know, crave for and uh, ask or organize the public debate, and he's also telling Nigerians we shouldn't expect all to attend, and that that is a huge joke. With due respect to Fashola. Because the truth is, if there's going to be a presidential debate, by all means, every presidential candidate aspirant should be there. In as much as you have a platform, you have a political party, you flag bearer, you should be there. Except, of course, if you think electorates are, are jokers. If you think the whole election is a huge joke. Nigerians have woken up from their slumber, especially the Nigerian youth, the electorate, and they have decided that they want the best to be on the, the, the apex seat in the country, which is the presidential seat in Asorok. So by all means, if you if you are a serious um, public servant, if you, if you really want their vote, you should be able to convince them. Market yourself. Tell them why you should be or why you ought to be the right person to sit on that seat. It's not going to be business as usual. Now, saying that um, you, should, you should organize a public debate and not expect all to come. If you, just like Okay Bakasi said so many hours ago, say, look, it's about time Nigerians begin to ask for presidential debate. Uh, it has become almost a norm for two sessions now, two channels now, where there was never a political debate. Okay, there was none whatsoever, no presidential debate. We just, we just signed in. Uh, 
Uh, the last one that was held, I think it was between um, Osibanjo, Osibajo and uh, Peter Obi, where they were calling him Obi China or something. Uh, but we don't want vice presidential debate. We want presidential debate. We want to hear from the horse's mouth because they are the one that's going to run the affairs of the country. Look at what happened. With due respect to the administration here, uh, we, we, who spoke to Nigerians were actually Osibajo. But who ruled was actually uh, uh, Buhari. President Muhammad Buhari ruled, but Osiban just spoke during the presidential uh, candy, uh, in the debate. So if it was the other way around, maybe Nigerians would have known a bit more better. All right, would have probably known the mindset and the thought pattern of the president. And Nigerians don't want to make the same mistake they made so many years ago. They want a different thing. So if you feel uh, just like uh, uh, okay, Bakasi said, said if uh, the delegates are good enough for you to converse for their vote and you had a talk uh, with them the nigerians and nigerian electorates also deserve to have a prep talk they have they deserve to be spoken to they also want to hear your views your pattern how it's going to be done and i feel that when that debate is going to take place it should be made public and they should be calling in so nigerians can ask questions as i want you and it should be uncensored live okay live debate uh so many nigerians have been asking for should I call impossible tasks? Tasks like um, they want uh, the likes of um, the APC flag bearer to mention the 36 states in the country unaided, unhelped. I don't know how that po that's possible. One of them asked one of the most, um, uh, he may look insignificant, but he was so sure of himself. He said, Look, if uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu can do that for him, he's going to converse for vote for him. He said, Look, you should account from one to 100, one to 100, standing, not squatting, not bending just standing uh, you see if you're asking for future impossible things but then who knows <laughs> anything can happen but of course he's um fascialized telling nigerians not to vote in anger that we should look at the pet antecedent and pedigree of this as a uh, aspirant and judge them okay let's just pick them one after the other based on the antecedent now he's saying that we should not vote them uh, with emotions okay let us look at the antecedent of uh, uh, Peter Obi. He was the one time, two time governor of um, Anambra State, correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, he did, he did well. He was able to save, all right, something that has not been done in a long time. Now he's also talking about the antecedent of um, Bola Ahmed Tunubu. I must also say that he did well. Lagos have what it takes to do well. Lagos is the commercial net hub of nigeria permit me to say that as well all the power starters their headquarters are located in lagos you can get your taxes free costs on hindered because they're all located there the seaport you name it taxes alone can make you rich okay so it's not gonna be hackling tax to make it in that kind of state okay so that's just giving him highlight now but then again if you're looking at that looking at also his present age uh, all Nigerians saw it when he was holding the APC flag. He was practically shaking. Uh, this is a man that uh, he literally made the mistake saying that um, uh, the, uh, all people should go and revalidate and also uh, re-register the expired voters card. It took INEC intervention to correct that, which he later did. So while you're looking at antecedent, what about present? As you look at an artist, what about, what about Atiku? Atiku here was the vice, okay, but his principal, Olusha Wobasojo, in the last statement he made, said he regretted ever having him as his vice. That's a strong statement coming from a principal. What is the secret he had that he wouldn't want Nigerians to have Atiku again or want Nigerians to, to Atiku to befall them again? You know, so you see, there's a lot, a lot of things with all these issues of never seeing your primary school and secondary school certificate. It's mind blowing. Honestly, Nigerians need to know what they're in for and they want to debate. That's a good to wrap it up. What's your take? Do you think Nigerians are voting out of emotions or do you think? Nigerians just woke up, woke up from their slumber and they want to get it done properly. Let's interact with the team.